so I'm not one to gloat, but let's do some gloating. The Drama King returns. LeBron James angrily walks off court in middle of fourth quarter as his Lakers collapse to the Phoenix Suns. That's right. Let's put the hat backwards. Oh, the Lakers are one game away from elimination. And LeBron James' dream of catching Michael Jordan as the GOAT is fading away. A oh, glorious, glorious truth. The news is, is good today, folks. Tuesday night was not just a pathetic performance in a critical game. Tuesday night was not just a pathetic performance in a critical game five of their series against the Phoenix Suns. It was a total no-show just a few minutes into the quarter. It was clear that the Los Angeles Lakers just didn't have it without star forward Anthony Davis. Oh, you can't do it on your own? You need another star? Sitting out game five due to a groin strain as he watched the Lakers get blown out 115 to 85. The Lakers held a 10 to 5 early lead, and then it all came crashing down. Phoenix went on a 16 to nothing run to take a 21 to 10 lead and never looked back. The Suns were scorching hot in the first half, shooting 54.2% from the field and outscoring the Lakers 32 to 10 in the second quarter. Wow. LeBron forced to admit that they got their ass kicked it's just that simple james said they got to whatever they wanted to get to in this game we got to be better obviously if we want to force a game seven yeah you do you have to be better uh, hopefully you don't get it hopefully the suns do it again i'd be happy for that even though i haven't watched any suns games because of specifically because of you lebron james and the nba's failure to call out china for its many gross human rights abuses I don't want to support an organization like that. So thanks. Thanks, LeBron. You're the worst defender of them all. Yeah. And apparently, not only are you the worst offender, but you're apparently a terrible defender, at least in this game. Explosion! Fly, Fox.